What's up everybody, I'm Chris from Gaming Overwatch and welcome to another episode of Maze. Uh, I clicked the button already because it was a time thing and I didn't want anyone to wait. Stale food pellet, yay. I ate a stale pellet. The, uh, the last episode, um, so I was talking to, um... Again, a food pellet. Why am I doing this? Last episode saw us talking to Living Corn. Um, and uh, now we're in an elevator and probably going to the place, the lab that was hinted at in the, in the farmlands. This definitely looks different. Okay, um, we're in we're in a lab. This dude is the, the boss, I guess. My god, Bob, what is this? Did you actually have the gall to commission a bronze statue of yourself? It'll cost us a fortune, you narcissistic dolt. Okay, so this is Bob. Hi, Dad, don't worry, I got a good deal, deal on it. Commission these statues in bulk. I think they really spruce up the facility, especially for the tour. Could be a big moneymaker for us. Bob, you are so, so very stupid. What about the term classified, don't you understand? We can't host any tours, moron. And don't think I didn't notice you put one near the farmhouse. Repeat, classified. Put it away, idiot. And that's why he made one of the oak thing. Facility bore brochure. A flashy brochure that appears to be part of the proposed tour of the facility, which includes what Bob thought a modern child looked like. Oh, God. Most of the brochure is redacted except for, um, for a walking sentient corn on the front. Painted portrait. Bob McTavish, PhD, MA, BSC, DOP, ESQ, founder. And Ted. Ah, okay. Co founder. Scratched in. Bob McTavish, honorary lobby. Okay, so Bob was the more fleshy guy who wanted tours. This guy was probably the brains behind everything. Well, let's see what this facility has in store. That must be their brother. Um, I'm assuming I do not want to get caught by... By him. Bob, you dummy, there are thou- oh. Hi, Ted. The fish shipment should be arriving today. Could be a pe could you be pal and put them in the tank for me? Thanks. Bob, you dummy. There are thousands of water tanks here. Do you realize how much feeding these fish fish will cost? Well, you know, you gotta you gotta be fancy sometimes. Okay, I'm not sure if that thing we just saw walk past is something that makes rounds. If it is, Kodrak This somehow makes sense. I'm carrying a coat wreck. Maybe I can defend myself with a coat wreck. Again, a coat wreck would serve as a pretty good weapon, I guess. Uh, uh, blunt force. What's this? Appears to be a report on the warfare readiness of subject of Project Maze. The report states multiple times that the sentient corn had no discernible method of raising or operating a military firearm and have a habit of taking naps right in the middle of a test. The term abject failure also appears all over the do document. <laughs> a running theme on many reports involving the corn. What did it say? Res... Res... res Reserve power mode active. Okay. So, do we need to restore power to the facility? So this should... I mean, it's... It's not even subtle. They just have big orange boxes that look more like a fucking glitch. Okay. Keyboard, probably. Bob, stop playing your stupid games on my computer. It's screwing around with my AI experiments. Idiot. Cordially, Ted. 
So Ted is not a big fan of Bob. It's like Pinky in the Brain. Bob, you disgusting slob. Don't you know how to read? Stop eating in here, glutton. Okay, old computer. I suppose I can put that over there. No food or drink. Gripotron. Bob, you jerk. Put my ram back where it was. I know you took it and hid it in that stupid spot of yours. Bring it back here, cordially, Ted. It appears to be an official guidebook for a tour of the research facility. A large portion of the text inside has been redacted, but 20 pages are fully dedicated to the giant vats. I mostly repeat the, that the refrain that the vats are very large and contain things that should stay in very large vats. Hey, you know. Well, at least we have that. Hiya, Tet! The latest brochure came back from the press. Take a look. They're gonna really boost the tour, boost the tour, and you'll be happy to know that most sensitive bits have been redacted. Safety first. Fucking idiot. Bob first. You are an idiot. That brochure is incredibly stupid. Second for the last time. No tours. Third, if you're going to make this stupid brochure, at least add my name to it. We're co-research heads, remember? As in same title, jerk. Hi, Dad. Really sorry, but the final print has been done and sent off. I'll make doubly sure the next one has your name underneath mine on the front. Good God, Bob. Do you do you have the reading comprehension of a five-year-old? This is a top-secret facility. Where did you send those brochures? Moron. It must be so much fun working with this. Turn on power strip. Ooh that so we can do something with the computer uh, anything else on the floor by the way just checking now okay use item code right. I can type with my hands 27 RAM system 12 can apply free memory okay whatever I need something to use on the computer I guess no already read that um Okay. Guess I'll go further. Ooh, caves. Like, actually sealed off with orange boxes again. So I'm being watched. Originated from a local fast food restaurant, the nutritional information on the wrapper proudly proclaims now 100% salmonella free. Yay! There are no, there are no exaggeration, thousands of these wrappers littering the facility, but a very fetching mustard saying on this particular one <laughs> sparked you to pick it up. Okay. Let's see. <coughs> this is fucked up. Hey, Ted, notice that you took down the painting in the lobby. Thanks, it had a little blemish on it. No sweat, though, there's another one. Be a pal and put it up, would you please? Bob, I'm not putting up another one of your paintings, you self-indulgent louse. For God's sake, how many did you order? And why is my face on that stupid horse? Cordially, Ted. I maybe should find a voice for the characters rather than just my own. I'm having a lot of fun acting that out, though. Military backpack. I think that's supposed to go uh, on the table in the room. Hey. Small screwdriver. Don't know what to use it for yet, but tools. Bob, you disgusting slob. Until you've cleaned up after yourself, I am blocking your entrance into the bathroom. I'm tired of calling in the hazmat team every week. Moron. Correct. No. <laughs> Push it over. Mm. Hey. What's that? What's this? <laughs> What's this thing? No, that other thing. I'm trying to find anything, but with it being such a disgusting mess. Um. 
it's very difficult to find everything in a given place. So I'm gonna call it for now, for at least for this place. Cause just going nuts. Okay, let's see. Can I actually go where they are? Pose another query. If it freezes, does it make a sound? Hmm. Interesting conundrum. What kind of tree? Fur. Can it talk? Yes, but only after lunchtime. Is it wearing a lot of bells? Some. But oh, yeah. Is it in a glass? A memo from the U.S. government directed to a secret research facility, name of which is redacted. It contains an incomprehensible directive to do something with corn, including an even more incomprehensible sum of money for the budget. The year of the memo, 1983. A schedule outlining the work shift of the entire for yeah of the entire facility staff. Most notable are the shifts for the two founders. They are completely opposite of each other. I bet. One of them didn't enjoy working with the other. Okay, so they completely ignore me. It's just really weird. I thought maybe they just could sketch her. Invoice for this incredibly extravagant bathroom calls for marble steps leading up to two extravagant toilets and a sink encrusted with gold. Cost is in the hundreds of thousands. Ted left it on Bob's toilet seat with a very pointed statement on the financial culpability. Well, yeah. Bob, I don't know how you managed to copy my bathroom key, but good God, how many cheeseburgers do you eat? Eat, 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 eat. He does eat quite a lot of cheeseburgers. Okay, uh, I'm not sure if there's anything f uh, more for me to do over here. <laughs> not much. So let's go back. What's this? Communal grotto. <laughs> Sounds very fancy. That's all the stuff I can interact with over here. So let's see what's on the other end of the hall. This is where I came from. Let's see. I could do something with that uh, with that painting. I'm not sure if anything I have right now. Used Porter's inspiration for the worst facial sketch in the world. Completely awful. It seems to be a map, rather. Okay, whatever. I'm not I'm not mad. Don't know what I'd need it for, but Circuit circuit board of RAM, nice. Use screwdriver to open extremely okay, what's this? Hi Ted, just heads up, put your RAM right here, this way it gets less dusty. Oh my god. A workout room? I'm guessing Bob never used it. Try as you might, you're unable to lift this more than two times in quick succession, and yet somehow you continue to carry it with you wherever you go. Uh, including, like, a fucking telescope and all the other things I have in my inventory. Sweaty headband. Disgusting. The only way this report could sound more triumphant is if trumpets were blared every time it was read. Explains very promising results after examining one of the new sentient corn stalks, a breed of ruby queen corn that shows high level of intelligence. It also glosses over the fact that this specimen is somehow female, which was apparently impossible under the genetic protocol of the facility used to create them. Okay. Anything else? A hole in the... Okay. Are we picking up the soap? 
A run of the mill rock with no defining features whatsoever to this unit from the billions of other rocks currently in existence. Its name is Mabel. So we have Chauncey and Mabel now. My two my two best friends in the whole world. Chauncey and Mabel. Um Okay, no, this lamp is just ugly. Nothing else. Oh god. The fuck? Skill one. Skill two following directions. Okay. Teddy bear. Okay, that one actually is useful. Also, for the thousandth time, why do we even have a daycare? There are no children here, halfwit. Bob, you lazy, lazy buffoon. I know you're... Spending all your time here and not signing the giant stack of paperwork I left at your desk. Stop playing with your toys and do your job. Okay. Bob does not seem very qualified for any work at all. Ever. I think I should go back to the room with the computer. Insert the RAM at least. Fucking sweaty headband. Disgusting. I don't know what that will do. Upgraded old computer. Oh God. What? What are you looking at? Something on Vladdy's face? Why you not talk? Do you understand? Understand what Vladdy is saying. <sighs> Butso boy, you are a big idiot. How you survive by being stupid? <sighs> Fine. Vladdy help. What are you gonna do? Why, guys, so many? Huh? What is this on Vladdy's back? This makes no sense. All of this is very stupid. <sighs> so, where we go? You following me around? Prepare to be insulted forever. Okay. Uh We need you to settle a debate on taking naps. Oh my god. What is that? What is What is Plant saying? Is that a It is. It's a helicopter. What? Da? Give me a ride, Mr. Helicopter. No, give me a ride. We can all fit just climbing. My Lucy drug. What's the way? Boy Grisomnyoi. Chitania Vesela! What a rude contraption! What well, if you're just gonna be like that? I don't know. Hmm. Oh, right. We completely forgot. We have a message for you. It's very important. You should hit the showers. What's a shower? I have no idea. Vladdy does not like it here. <laughs> I can understand that. New path is opened. You should probably go find it. Let's wait for my buddy here. Um, I think I'm going to call it quits for now, at least. Uh, <laughs> if you want to see what happens in the next episode, subscribe for more gaming goodness and like the video if you thought it was entertaining. And remember, guys, stay watchful. Break it down.